I'm on the line with Annie, uh, who has been to a physician-owned physical therapy practice uh, for a particular condition she, she suffered from, and uh, she was willing to share her story. Annie, thank you for being with us today and telling us your side of this story about uh, physician-owned practices. Oh, it's my pleasure. So, Annie, it's my understanding that you were referred to a physician-owned physical therapy practice for water therapy because you have a severe back condition. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. I was going to say I have a severe scoliosis and also osteoporosis. I see. So both scoliosis and osteoporosis. And so you needed water therapy, and you went to the doctor's physical therapist. Is that correct? Yes. And were you offered any other options for physical therapy when the doctor recommended physical therapy for you? Um, another uh, physician-owned therapist. So you were, um, you were recommended to go to that physician's physical therapist or another physician's physical therapist. Is that correct? Right, yes. Okay. And if a doctor makes a recommendation to you to do something, do you feel that it, that, that doctor does so uh, with your best interest in mind? Uh, one would like to think so. Sure. Uh, would you ever think that a doctor would refer uh, you for a test or physical therapy because it was good for his or her wallet, but not what was in your best interest? Uh, yeah, I do believe that's what happened in my situation. Okay. Can you describe what uh, happened when you went to that physical therapist? Well, it was pool therapy several times a week, and I think we were essentially walking back and forth and a little pool, and then right. just, um, occasionally doing little squats. And there were several people, and we were all doing exactly the same thing, regardless of what we were there for. It sounds like you had some conversation with other patients there, and regardless of what the diagnosis was, you, you were all doing the same thing. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> so, Annie, tell me a little bit about uh, what you said to the physical therapist. Um, at one point, I did confront the physical therapist who was conducting the water therapy and, and, and asked why we were all doing exactly the same regimen of exercises, um, and he made some comment about how it was strengthening strengthening our core. Uh, I said, well, but we've got people in here that are ha having had, had knee surgery <laughs> and shoulder surgery and back surgery and ankle surgery, and um, I don't know that we need to be strengthening our core. Um, yeah, he didn't quite know what to say to me. I, I see. He kind of implied that I didn't know what I was talking about, and I should just do the exercises, and he'd been doing this for a long time, and... You know, I just I needed to be more patient, and I would see results eventually. And was that the treatment that the doctor ordered for you? Um, the doctor didn't order any particular treatment. Just said that maybe it would be good for me to try the water therapy to keep me my spine flexible. I see. And um, because it was less a less pressurized route of ther physical therapy. Uh, so would you say your treatment was or was not what the doctor ordered? Um. Or do you know if the doctor ordered any treatment for you say, other than just water the doctor, therapy? Yes, the doctor didn't order anything specifically, as far as I am aware. They just said go to orthopedic. It was a um, it was a physical therapy component of um, an orthopedic surgery group. Gotcha. Um, did you ever see the the doctor, your doctor, or any other doctors for that matter, in the physical therapy clinic when you went to therapy? Oh no. <laughs> Never. So you never saw your doctor or any other physicians that you recognized in uh, the physical therapy clinic? No, I did not. Okay. So you went through this water therapy. Um, was it effective for you? No. Okay. What did you do then? Um, I, I essentially, I just stopped going at one point. Would you have liked to have other choices provided to you by that orthopedic surgeon other than just go to their therapy? Yes, I yes, and in fact, I had found a few other physical therapists that offered um, unique therapies for patients with scoliosis, and and asked, pleaded, <laughs> with um, my primary physician to make a referral to those I see. Um, physical therapists, and was told that that couldn't happen. And were those therapists in independent practice? Yes. Okay. And was the reason that you could not go to those independent therapy uh, groups? Uh, one of those independent physical therapists, was that because you didn't have insurance coverage or the doctor was unwilling to refer outside of his group? The doctor was unwilling to refer outside the group. 